What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, bringing more tips for your Versus show. Last time I gave five, but this time I'll only be giving three. But I'll just keep making tip videos every now and then, and just adding on to the giant list. So let's go over the first five, which I go more in depth in the video that's in the link in the description below. So go click that if you want to go see that video. But the five tips I discussed there were one, be entertaining. Two, do your own research. Three, don't declare yourself to be the final decision on a versus debate. Four, do not fall for hype. And five, defend your arguments. I went over those five tips in the last video, but now let's get on to tip number six. Don't doubt a character. A character's title, appearance, description can often be extremely deceiving. Like take Krillin, for example. Krillin is 100% human. I'm 100% human and I can't slice buildings in half with a key disc. But Krillin can, just because he's human doesn't mean he can't, so... Do not doubt characters on what they are. Bayonetta's 100% human, Krillin's 100% human, Saitama's 100% human. You've seen the insane things Saitama's done, right? So, just things like that. Don't ever downplay a character, basically, just for how they look, or what they are, or how they seem. Like Stitch, for example. Like, my whole Fictional Fights episode about Stitch vs. Toothless was all centered around this tip, about not judging a book by its cover. Because people were still confused at, at the results, like, how does Toothless lose? Stitch is a tiny alien, Toothless is a giant dragon, how did Toothless lose? Stitch could lift 3,000 times his own weight, he can catch plasma and fire, he's, he's fireproof, bulletproof, and built to be indestructible. I mean, he survived a volcanic explosion, for crying out loud. And plus, have you seen how big Gant Captain Gantu is, that big whale guy? Stitch tosses him around like nothing, so Toothless honestly wouldn't be a problem for Stitch. So despite Stitch being a tiny little alien, he could still do a lot to Toothless, despite Toothless being so much bigger than him. So yeah, that's tip number six. Don't doubt a character. Tip number seven. Listen to feedback. Now, there's a huge difference between uh, criticism and trolling. Trolling is someone just giving negative comments to your show and nothing else. Criticism will tell you the negative things, but also give you advice on how to improve. <clears throat> like, for example, uh, trolling would be, Wow, Vic's voice is so stupid. Wow, he's so annoying. This show is garbage, because Vic's voice is annoying. But criticism would be, Maybe change Vic's voice a little, because it's slightly unpleasant to the ears. It would be a lot better if he sounded different. So I took that criticism into account. Like before, Vic used to sound like this! Remember when Vic sounded like this? Wowie wow! That was annoying, wasn't it? But now I've sort of uh, evolved Vic's voice into something a little lower. It still has that sort of high-pitched ring to it, but it's a lot lower and more subtle and controlled. Hey guys, it's Vic from Fictional Fights. See, it's it just works a lot better. And no one's complained about Vic's voice in quite a while ever since I've started doing it at that tone. So it's nice to see how much um, listening to criticism has helped. So be sure to pay attention to feedback. Not all criticism is meant to be trolling. So please don't take it at that. And that feeds into uh, uh, the eighth tip. Tip number eight is do not feed the trolls. All right, so there is a difference between trolling and criticism. Like I said earlier in the last tip, now, to identify trolling, it's pretty easy. You can pretty much tell their salty rage and all that stuff. They'll call you biased. They won't give any legitimate reasons or arguments to why they don't agree with you. They'll just say, Oh, you're biased. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. I can't believe my character lost. This is garbage. They'll make up stuff. They'll pull up stuff that goes against your rules. They'll wank characters, yada, yada, yada. I've, I have a pretty nasty Overwatch wanker on my channel. <laughs> and a pretty nasty Street Fighter one, too. Uh, but... I've learned to, like, ignore them, because they're not giving any actual criticism, they're just whining because their character is lost. But there are other people, like, uh, there are certain users in the comments of Danny vs. Jake, they did present very well-constructed arguments, and I argued with them because I was like, oh, cool, an argument, this isn't just another butthurt salty troll, this is something I can actually argue and strengthen my debating skills against, and defend my argument, so they actually gave me a challenge, unlike the Overwatch wanker and the Street Fighter wanker. That just got really annoying, so it's it, it gets pretty hard to take those two seriously. <laughs> like, really hard. Like the Street Fighter wanker? He really thinks Ryu's power of nothingness makes him invincible? What? He thinks, he thinks it makes Ryu unable to die? What? 
Talk about your no limits fallacy. <laughs> okay, this got really awkward, but yeah, those are the three tips for today. Listen to feedback, do not feed the trolls, and of course, don't doubt a character. See you when I come up with more tips.